folks, we're here today to talk about uh, state of charge, how to determine what uh, state of charge or if your battery is fully charged. Uh, two tools that we're going to use to determine that, uh, one is a battery hydrometer and uh, two is the uh, voltmeter, a couple different types. Uh, this, is, this is a quick and easy uh, graph on it here. We have a digital voltmeter measure DC AC. Obviously batteries are measuring DC voltage. So uh, test number one that we're going to do is a battery hydrometer. Uh, the nice thing about hydrometers is, you know, they're, they're always 100% accurate. And really, if you've got a bank of uh, deep cycle batteries, battery for off, off grid, cottage, bolt batteries, this is really the tool that you need to determine state of charge. It's the least expensive thing that you're going to find on the market, under 10 bucks for one of these. They're fragile. But uh, other than that, they're, they're perfect for determining state of charge with flooded batteries. So we're going to do a quick demo here on how to determine state of charge. You know, again, with a flooded battery and a, and a battery hydrometer, it's, it's irrelevant whether the battery just come off a of charge, is on charge, just discharged. Uh, this is going to give you the real-time reading on, on what state of charge is by measuring the amount of sulfuric acid in the solution. Um, so basically, we suck up enough uh, electrolyte in here that we raise the float in the hydrometer, and uh, that's going to give us a uh, state of charge. So there, there's a scale that we can use to look and see what that is. It's available um, on, on the cards available on here in a number of different places. But roughly what we're seeing here is this battery is 50% state of charge. For this purpose, we actually run a discharge on it and uh, to get it down there. So, so roughly this battery is 50% is discharge. So it's going to need a bunch of charging uh, to get it back up. So the other tool that we're going to use to determine state of charge on this battery is a battery voltmeter. So one of the things that we need to know before we check voltage or, or, or during or before is what is the state of charge of the battery. So if we put this, this on and, and we're measuring something more than 12.6, which in this case we're measuring 12.9, what we actually have to do is remove surface charge from the battery. So if it just came off a of charge or if it was just discharging, it's really tough to determine what the state of charge is with a voltmeter until we let the voltage recover on the battery. So in this case, this battery, even though it's, it's discharged and we know already it just came off a of charge, but we want to determine what the state of charge is, we need to burn the surface charge off. So we need to take the surface charge off the battery, and we're going to do that by putting on load test. Uh, there's a number of different ways that we can do that. Some say half the rate of CCA for a few seconds. Some say 20, uh, 20 amps for three minutes. We're just going to take some, some load out of this battery, in this case here. We're going to load it up, give it 15, 30 seconds, and then we're going to give it a little bit of uh, time to recover, maybe a couple of minutes, depending on, on state of charge or, or what size battery we have. So, so once we've done that, we're going to let the battery recover, and now this is going to give us a more accurate uh, state of charge. We're going to use uh, this voltmeter here because it's got a big bright display. So what we can see is um, battery started out that it had almost 13 volts in it, 12.95 or something. And um, so what we can see now is a battery sitting at 12.42, which would correspond uh, directly to, to what the specific gravity reading is. So although the battery started out at a higher voltage, um, it wasn't necessarily an indication of state of charge have to take that surface charge off when you're using a voltmeter. So that applies to uh, any battery, whether it be flooded, AGM, um, any, any, any particular battery technology, you're going to have to take the surface charge off. So obviously that's going to be more important with an AGM or sealed battery because you can't physically measure uh, specific gravity with a hydrometer.